up boys and girls? Welcome to week six of our sight word activity. And this week is a little bit different because we've already introduced all of our kindergarten sight words. And before we jump into our activity today, we're gonna just go over our goal. Our learning goal is I can read and write my sight words. So we're still gonna to continue to practice reading and most importantly, writing those sight words since we know and have introduced all of our sight words. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about when you go to the doctor, okay? And when I go to the doctor, the doctor does kind of like a checkup on me. The doctor looks at my eyes, doctor looks, listens and looks in my ears, looks in my mouth, the doctor listens to my heart, right? Maybe the doctor has you do a couple other things. The doctor does what's called like a checkup. The doctor's checking to make sure how strong and how healthy you are, okay? So today we're gonna do what's called a sight word checkup because we've already been introduced to all of our kindergarten sight words. And today we're just gonna kind of pretend like we're doctors and we're gonna do a checkup on our sight words. So what I did is I have a piece of paper that looks like this. And what I did was I drew two rectangles. And my one rectangle, it has green in it. And my other rectangle has red in it. And when I see the color green, think about when you're driving in your car. That's right, green means go. Green means those are words that I'm strong on, okay? So when you, when I'm finished with the video, you're gonna go through and you're gonna get a piece of paper and you're going to draw two rectangles one rectangle so two lines the same and the two sides that are the same and then same with my other rectangle you're going to draw two rectangles and you're going to make one rectangle green and one rectangle red mom and dad if you want to help them write the word strong and working on at top and the top of those rectangles you can go ahead and do that if not just make sure i have one green box and one red box now when we do a sight word checkup I go through and I take all of my words off of my ring. So I already went through and my words look a little bit different than yours. I took all of my words off of my ring because I have the whole punch right here. I took them all off the ring. It's super easy to do. I open up my ring. You might need mommy or daddy or brother or sister to help you to push that open just like we do in the um, classroom to take our words, put our words on every week. You're going to push open your ring and you're going to take all of your words off. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to read our words and the words that you're strong with that you really know really well, you're gonna put in the green box. The words that maybe you need a little bit of work on that you need to come back and do a checkup on, we're gonna put in the red box. The red means stop, right? Stop, I need to go back and I need to do a checkup and fix that up, okay? So I went ahead and already did some of my sight words. These are all of my words that I'm very strong on. I'm gonna put it in the green box right here, okay? Cause I'm strong with those under the green. And then these are my words that I'm working on. I'm gonna put them in the red box because I'm still working on those. And I'm gonna leave those right there in the red and I'm gonna come back to those in a minute, okay? I saved a couple of words so that we could, I could show you how I do my checkup on my own um because i already did some before you guys came to join me so i wanted to keep a couple that we could do together so i'm gonna hold the word up just like videos before we're gonna think it in our brain hold it and then we'll say it okay as i'm doing them i want you to think about hmm that was kind of a tricky word for me because that will be a word that you're going to put in your red rectangle to stop and come back to after we're finished with our checkup so i'm gonna hold it up Think it, hold it, say it. They. Ooh, this word is a little tricky for me, okay? So I'm gonna put it in my red pile. If it was strong for you and you knew it just like that, you put it in the green pile, the green rectangle. Okay, next one. Think it, hold it, say it. With, good job. I'm gonna put that in my, re my green rectangle. Think it, hold it. Her, awesome, I'll put that in my green. Think it, hold it, that. I'm putting that on my green, it's a little 
easy for me. I think it. Hold it. Bye. Ooh, that one was a little tricky for me. I'm going to put it on my red to come back to. Think it. Hold it. No. Good job. Good job, boys and girls. This is my last one. Think it. Hold it. This. Ooh, this one was a little tricky for me because it looks very similar to other words that I already have on my ring. So I'm going to put it on my red side, on my red rectangle, so that I can come back to that. So now that we did a checkup on our words, I have my words right here that are in my red. Here, I'll hold this up so you guys can see. I have it in my red rectangle on my red side, and then I have my words on my green side that I'm really, really, really strong with. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a couple of my words. I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. So after you go to the doctor and the doctor does a checkup, the doctor usually just tells you how you're growing and how strong you're getting. Well, Mrs. Lattice has a little baby. Her name is Lila and she's almost six months old. And when she was really, really little, when we first had her, she was not sleeping very well. And so the doctor gave us, and one of our checkups that we took her to, the doctor gave us some tools and some strategies that we could do to try and help her sleep better. And now she's such a good sleeper. She sleeps in her crib so well. So the doctor really helped us out with one of her checkups by giving us some strategies and tools to use. So today I have some tools and strategies that we are going to use to help us with these sight words when I did my checkup that are in my red square. Okay, or my red rectangle. So I have these words that are on my red rectangle. I'm gonna pull them and keep them right here on my side, right here. So what I can do, some of my tools that I can use or strategies that I can use to help me um, to come back to these words that are still a little tricky for me when I did my checkup. The first thing I can do is read it. So I can read my word. The next thing I can do is I can make it. So when I make my word, not only am I just reading it, but I'm using different materials to help me make it. So I can get creative and I can think of different things I can use around my house. So I, I could maybe use um, Q-tips, I could use cotton balls, I could use, if I have pipe cleaners, like Mrs. Lattis has pipe cleaners today that I'm gonna show you. Um, if I have magnetic letters, you could use magnetic letters or any kind of letters. You could use Legos, you could use toy cars. You could go outside and go on a scavenger hunt and pick up pieces of grass off the ground. We all have grass growing out by our yards, right? Um, you could pick up little rocks, you could pick up sticks, but you gotta make sure when you're done with all those things, they go back in nature, okay? So you could go on a scavenger hunt on a beautiful day and collect some things that you could use to help you make sight words and then you put them back in nature, okay? So that's what the make it is. And then spell it because all kindergartners who are practicing sight words have to spell the word. Not only do we need to be able to read it, but it's important for us to spell it too so that when we're writing it, I'm able to think, hmm, how do I spell that word? Oh yeah, that's right. So I have to practice spelling it so that when I'm writing it, I'm able to spell it on my paper, okay? And then say it. So we say it one more time after I have read it, made it, spelled it, and I then say it. That's the final step. So I'm gonna show you with two of my cards how I use this strategy after doing my checkup. So my first word that I'm going to use I'm gonna put it right here for my first part of my strategy, my tool that I can use to help me with my word. So the first step is read it. So let's read it together, ready? Bye, good job. Now, my next step is make it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my pipe cleaners. So Mrs. Lattice has just different colored pipe cleaners. If you don't have pipe cleaners, you don't have to use pipe cleaners. You can, like I said, you have lots of different things at home that you can think about that you could maybe use to help you make this word. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my paper down and I'm gonna make my letter B, like I make my bed. So B, 
and then I have my letter Y. So I kind of just form it with my pipe cleaners to help me make my word. I'm going to make it right here. Bye. B Y bye. Okay? I'm going to lay my bye on my table right here just so I remember how to spell it and what it looks like. B Y bye. Now I'm going to spell it. So I'm going to get my card back out. I'm going to lay it right here. And now we're going to spell it. Here we go. B Y bye. Let's try that again. B Y bye. Awesome. And now I'm going to say it. Bye. Here we go. Oops, got to get my card again. Bye. Awesome. Now, when I spell it, what I can do is I can take my marker. I forgot this important step. I can't believe Mrs. Lattice forgot it. Silly Mrs. Lattice. So when I spell it, not only am I just going to spell it, like say it, spell it, but I'm also going to write it. So I'm going to get my marker out and go back and do this step. When I spell it, B, Y, Bi. B, Y, Bi. And then I re-spelled it. I re-went over it with my finger to help me really get that sight word in my brain. Because the whole point of doing this is to get the sight word in my brain. Because it was on the red side when I did my checkup. Super, 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 super magic marker. Okay, erase, erase, erase. So now that I practiced my sight word by, I'm going to go through, I'm going to put him on the green side. I'm going to go through and I'm going to grab my next word. And we're going to do the whole step all over again. So the first step is read it. So let's read it together. Ready? They. Good job. So now I have to make it. So now when I make it, I'm going to put my little card down. I'm going to use my magnetic letters to help me make it. So when I make it, I have my letter T first. So I have T and then after T comes my H. Then after my H comes my E. And then after my E comes my Y. So after I made it, I used my finger and I traced over every letter so that I could feel it. How I make the letter with my finger to get those letters in my brain. So as I put them up here, as I put my magnetic letters up here, I traced it with my finger to get that letter in my brain. So now I made it with my magnetic letters. It's your turn. You can make it when you do this. You can make it with anything that you have at your house, okay? It doesn't have to be magnetic letters. Then after I make it, I need to come back to my card, look at my next step, which is spell it. So when I spell it, remember, I forgot the first time that I need to write it, okay? So that I can get it stuck in my brain because not only do we just read it and spell it out loud, I also have to write it to get it stuck in my brain and so that it's stronger in my brain when I go to write my words in a sentence. So here we go. T H E Y they. Awesome. Good job boys and girls. So then after I write they, I'm going to say it one more time. Here we go. They. Awesome. Good job boys and girls. All right. So what you're going to do today is you are going to need your sight word cards. You're going to do your checkup first, sort them. Then after you do your sight word checkup, you are going to use your tool to help you read it, make it with different things around your house, spell it, and say it on your own. All right, have fun.